Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a quick demonstration of how to make no need bread. Everybody needs bread. Well, most everybody. Uh, it's super simple to make. We have regular white flour. We have whole wheat flour. We have a little bit of yeast, a little bit of salt, one cup of water, a stir stick, and a bowl. So let's get started. The number one thing to know about no need bread is that it's super easy and very forgiving. So we'll go ahead and put the flours, the dry ingredients together like that. Uh, the ratio for flour to water is two flour, one water. Two flour, one water. Very easy. Go ahead Oh, got carried away. I should have put in the dry ingredients first to make sure that they get mixed up really nicely. I use the fork side of my spoon and I will just mix up the salt and the wheat flour and the yeast and the white flour Get it nice and mixed up. Just like that. Nothing fancy, because again, this is very forgiving recipe. Go ahead and put in the water. A little bit at a time. Then I use the, uh, the handle part of the stick, of the stir stick because it makes it easier to clean and the flour dough mix is uh, very sticky. So I add a little bit more in and stir, make sure I get the edges. You can see it's already glooping up, which is exactly what we want. Gloopy gloopy. Then pour in some more water. So again, two flour, one water. That's the ratio. And stir, 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 stir. If you have a machine, obviously that makes it a whole lot easier. But uh, <clears throat> before machines, people were making bread just like this every single day. Okay, that's looking pretty good. In fact, I'd say that's about perfect, at least the way we like to eat it here in my house. Okay, and now I just scrape off that side and scrape off the other side. And yes, I washed my hands. But uh, there's some people out there who get all squeamy about touching your food. If, you're, if you feel bad about touching food, then you probably shouldn't be cooking. Okay, that's all that's required for the first step. In about 12 hours or so, uh, the bread will have changed, metamorphosized into an entirely different structure. That's it. I'm going to put the lid on. Some people use a plastic wrap or a towel. I just use a lid because I can reuse it over and over without throwing away stuff. All right, I'll be back in about 12 hours to show you the metamorphosis of no-knead bread. Thanks for watching and happy baking.